Now, welcome everyone back again to another tutorial. This time we have an Android device in front of us. And the question is, how can you use Notion on your Android phone? Let's get into it. So naturally, at first, just head over to the Play Store and get the Notion app. I know it's possible to use it through a web browser as it's like online based and everything, but using the app is just much better, right? So you just have to just go inside of the, uh, the Notion application. And at first, you can basically just choose which account or which workspace you want to work with. If you want to, you can even add multiple of them into your into your account, right? So you can even switch between them, but just ensure that you are in the proper workspace. Then on the left panel, you have a couple of quick uh, searches, like you can you get the home screen link, you've got the inbox, you've got the search, but then you have a list of all of your pages, right? So you can scroll and just click in between them and whatever, and that's just kind of how it works. But the great thing about Notion is uh, the way to nest pages within one another, right? So as you can see, I've got a couple of different like uh, pages here on the left panel, but I can click the plus icon right next to each of them. And this means that when I click on a plus, a new page will be added into that section. So it will be like nested within this one. And then I can nest another page within this newly created page, right? So it just works very well. And that's how you can just proceed with this, right? So right now you can go ahead and just start a brand new note. So the, the process of doing that basically involves typing in a title. Then you can also get to pick an emoji, which is going to be the icon for that page. So you can pick emoji, as I said, or different like icons which are available to you, or you can even upload your custom PNG file for a nice special effect. You can also add comments as well as the cover images, which I, I basically most of the time I just go with the with the icon, right? So that's kind of like the best feature for me, but feel free to do whatever you want. And then below you basically have the page for, uh, you know, for the, the space for typing in your basic notes. Everything just works fine. It's all good. But the best part about Notion, in my opinion, are the elements or building blocks of your pages. So essentially you can add so many different things in here, like different titles, different like text, like quotes, you can add call out text and like so many different things. You can embed like photos, videos, you can even embed like third party links in here. There are so many different third party apps integrated like the Google Drive and so many different productivity tools which you can just put into your notes and link it to something like you can literally embed a Google Maps or even tweets from Twitter. So it all works very well. And when you just work and just add the text titles, the elements and everything, you're going to end up with a perfectly crafted note. And this is the main reason why I use Notion practically for everything. And this is why I think it's the best note taking app. So let me know below in the comments what you think about it, what your opinion is. But for now, that's going to be about it. For more Notion videos, it's mostly about iPad, but still, you can check out this channel and subscribe for more and you will never miss anything. <laughs>